Hi plums and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about how to get over a breakup. Ouch. I know. Those kinds of topics just are buzzkills. Anyway, getting over breakups is always hard. I mean, ask me. Every single time I fall in love, it takes me at least two years to get over my ex. Kind of a long time. And maybe I shouldn't have said that, but oh well, it's already out there. So today I am going to help you how to get over a breakup. These tips are probably not going to be easy, but they're only up to you to take them or push them away. So there's not many things you can actually do to get over your ex. I mean, as we all know, the biggest advice we all receive is time heals everything. And that's very true. Another advice we tend to receive that never works is, well, rebounds, believe me, they never work. But if you really don't want to give time to time, then there's a few other options. We all know we should get distracted, go out with our friends, you know, basically think about everything except for the problem. The only problem with that is since we're avoiding the issue, it's only gonna make it worse getting over. My recommendation for you is the first few days or couple of weeks if you want to, dwell on it. It's okay if you don't wanna go out with your friends. It's okay if all you wanna do is eat or sleep. Just put yourself a deadline. Don't allow the feeling to consume you over. Why? Because then it can lead to depression or it can lead to you, well, chronically feeling that way. And we don't want that. We eventually want to get over the issue in the first place. So allow yourself to feel, but set a date. Be realistic about it. Don't go like, in three days, I have to stop crying. In two days, I have to get over him. Give me a week and it's done. No, I mean, minimum two weeks. But then again, we're all different. Just remember, it's not about avoiding the problem. It's about dealing with it. And the other advice I have for you is to value yourself. It can be especially hard and it's very easily to be forgotten because once you're in a relationship, all you want is for the other person to be happy. But what if the person you want to make so happy isn't happy with you? Then, well, eventually you guys break up. Or sometimes it was a toxic relationship. Or other times, maybe you two still love each other, but you're just not good for each other and you have to break up. Or you don't share the same values or you don't share the same dreams. So each of you have to take your own path. There are infinite reasons on why you guys broke up. Point is, if it's a good breakup, it's always easy to get back on track with your life. But if it's a bad breakup, God knows how hard it is to get over the person. And all you want to do is stalk the person, get back together with the person, know everything they're doing, and just try to improve and find ways to get back together. Believe me, one out of 10 of those people actually change and have a better relationship after they got back together. The other nine were just lucky enough to not get back with that person. I'm not saying people don't change, but you're not gonna sit around waiting for them to do. I mean, you have better things to do with your life. Like, I don't know, live it. So all I can tell you here is value yourself as a person and know that you deserve so much more. Yes, this is a classic shitty comment that people tell you just to make you feel better. At the time, you don't understand. But once you actually get over the person, you're like, Oh my gosh, he's trash, she's trash. I definitely was much more valuable than that. So value yourself. A few tips on how you can learn to love and respect the person you are. Know that there is nobody like you. Doesn't matter what other people tell you, nobody can actually judge you. If you're not hurting anybody, who cares? if you are yourself, even if you are a little quirky. What is normal anyway? Be your own kind of person and don't let anybody get to your head, especially not your ex. Also, know that things happen for a reason. Even though we might not understand the reason at the moment, later on, we're gonna realize why things happened. And okay, 
watch this out, but don't get too keen on it. Just because you're not together with that person right now, it doesn't mean they're not the person for you. But then again, we come back to the point of live your life. And if that person is meant to be in your life, they will eventually come back in the most unexpected ways. Wink, it's never happened to me, but I've heard. About valuing yourself, somebody that loves you won't treat you wrong. And yes, you have your parents, you have your siblings, and sometimes you fight. There are people that are worth fighting for and others that are better pushing away. So really, really do an honest conclusion about if this person really does deserve to be in your life. I mean, after all, we're all humans, we all make mistakes, and it's easy to get caught up with emotions, feelings, sometimes you're not feeling well, sometimes you're stressed out, and you just explode. That sounded like a fart more than an explosion. Anyway, you explode and you say things that you didn't want, but then you apologize. Some people are just toxic for you, and toxic people always want a victim. Victims always want a toxic person. So really open up your mind, stop lying to yourself, and realize if you're the victim or the toxic person. Toxic relationships are definitely the hardest to end because they're so addictive. They're not good for you. They are never going to end well, and they're never going to make you grow. So if you're in a toxic relationship, sister, brother, help yourself and do it now. This is a sign you've been waiting for. Anyway, these are my advices. Surround yourself by people that love you. Talk it out without making it an obsession because a little too much talking about this can actually get annoying. But like we said, set a deadline. Allow yourself to talk about it, hmm, two weeks. A month two months tops because even your best friends can get tired about listening about your ex all the time spend time with people that love you go out for walks meditate spend time in nature work out work on your appearance as I said nothing with obsession but learn to be with people that love you to value yourself but also learn to be with you. Sometimes the problem is that because we're so afraid of being on our own, we become needy and this is actually what drives people away. Maybe that boyfriend, that girlfriend were, was actually perfect for us, but not at this moment. So love yourself. That is the biggest advice of all. And know that everything happens for a reason and that you are so much more worth it than that. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you again in two weeks with another motivational video on the Porcelain Plum.